Dr. Emma Connor. Emma was born in 1869 on the family farm on Gallivan Road in Sydney Township. Her parents were William Connor and Matilda Sarles, and she attended the Marsh Hill School. She went on to university, where she was one of only three women to be accepted by the Women's Medical College at the University of Toronto, and returned in 1904 to settle in Balbo, taking over the practice of another pioneer of local medicine, Dr. Elizabeth Embury. Dr. Emma bought a vacant lot with her father's help, then designed and built a spacious brick home at 240 Pinnacle Street. This was very prime real estate in 1904. The south-facing office had a separate entrance and curved wraparound veranda. Attention to detail was evident throughout, with beautiful oak-trimmed rooms and a library reading room. An intricate English rose garden ran along the perimeter, creating a profusion of flowers all summer long. Her sister, Alice Connor, married Dr. Walter Northcott. They lived in Brantford, but he was unhappy practicing medicine, and they relocated to Balbo. He became an engineer, and they moved in with Dr. Emma. Alice managed the house and the business side of Emma's large medical practice for as long as Emma was alive. Her brother's wife, Annette Gardner Connor, was not well, and Dr. Emma invited Annette's children, William, Dorothy, and Grace, to live with her. Her nieces and nephews lavishly praised their brilliant aunt for their successes in life. Sadly, she suffered a massive heart attack and passed away in 1936 at 67 years old. Dr. Emma Connor, at barely five feet tall, was an impressive and persuasive force of nature in the Quinney area. Her dedication and compassion to the community was legendary. In 1930, nursing graduates at the Belleville General Hospital shared their admiration for Dr. Emma with this dedication. To one whose aim has been to guard our health, whose skill has eased hours of pain, whose encouragement has urged us on in fresh endeavor, we would dedicate this book with affection and esteem in the hope that something of her spirit of service may abide with us in the new paths we are about to tread. Dorothy Frances Connor was born at her home on Octavia Street in Belleville in July of 1908. Her sister Grace Margaret Connor followed in March 1910. They were both delivered by their aunt, Dr. Emma Connor. When the sisters reached high school age, they moved into their aunt's house on Pinnacle Street. They both went to Balva Collegiate High School, graduated with honors, enrolled in a nursing program in Toronto, and took an additional year of public health nursing. Dr. Emma must have been very proud. In 1935, the two sisters, barely five feet tall, started wearing the distinctive uniform with starched white collars and cuffs of the Victorian Order of Nurses, the VON. For the next 30 years, they drove their stylish Model T Ford around the community, carried their black leather bags, and knocked on doors to provide health care to hundreds of patients in their homes. It generated a charming, small-time good feeling to see the petite figures of the Connor sisters wearing their gardening smocks, hats, and rubber boots while meticulously tending their aunt's beautiful roses in the shadow of the Corby Library. They were pleased to be named honorary lifetime members of the Belleville Garden Club. They had some unlikely gardening companions in the form of a group of young offenders from a group home. When their work was done, these rough-and-tumble boys would sit patiently learning about the gardens and the surrounding area's history, then talk about it on the way back to their residence. This was truly a win-win situation. In 1996, they gave up their home and moved into the Bridge Street Retirement Residence, and each lived for 96 years before Dorothy passed away in 2002 and Grace followed in 2005. Kind words and good deeds were woven into the fabric of so many lives by these three amazing women, and the world is a better place for having had them in it. Although the gardens are no more, we know you would be pleased that your legacy continues with the recent refurbishment of the Connor House and the installation of four doctors from the Queen's University Family Health Team on the premises. When you stroll along Pinnacle at Campbell Street, pause for a second and picture these diminutive powerhouses tending their gardens and enjoying the distant sound of piano music from within the Connor House.